Hi, Vicki Williams here. Gonna do another lab for you. Today I'm doing experiment two, measurements and density. It just says measurements. Okay, so watch as we go along. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is measure the temperature in a beaker of water and just see what the room temperature is. I will take a close-up picture of this, but it looks like the temperature reads 21, 22, 23, about 23.3. And like I said, I'll take a picture of that. The thermometer is marked to every degree. So we need to record it to one decimal point. The next measurement we're gonna take is that of boiling water. I'm gonna hold the thermometer in here, not quite touching the bottom. And you don't want to let it touch the bottom because then you're measuring the temperature of the hot plate more than the temperature of boiling water. And it's hit 95. Okay, now we're gonna do measure the temperature of ice water. And first we're gonna measure it with the thermometer just sitting at the bottom of the beaker. Without stirring the ice water at all, I'm getting a temperature of about 4.8. Now I'm gonna stir for one minute and I'm sure you don't need to watch that whole thing, so. I'll see you in a sec. Okay, I've been stirring for one minute. Gonna read the temperature of the ice water. Now it's reading just above the zero. Nope, it's actually right on the zero. So I would call that one 0, 0.0. Now we're gonna add a little bit of salt to the water and we're going to add five grams of sodium chloride to it. Here's my five grams of sodium chloride in my weigh boat and I'm going to add that to my beaker full of ice water and stir until it's dissolved and then we'll read the temperature of that. Now that I've stirred the ice water and salt mixture for over a minute, it is now reading about minus 0.8. For the next part of our experiment, we are going to be measuring mass. So I'm gonna put the camera in front of the scale, tilt it down, and let you see that. So the scale is zeroed, and now I'm gonna measure a 250 milliliter beaker. As you can see, this last digit 
changes. And that's going to be our uncertain digit, but that's okay. It's okay to have one uncertain digit. But I will write down all the digits. Those, that's 113.78798. Grams. That's our 250 milliliter beaker. Now I'm going to weigh a weigh boat. Make sure my scale is zeroed first. Put the weigh boat on there. I get 2.23 grams for the weigh boat. And we're also going to measure a 250 milliliter or a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. This flask that has the triangle shape is an Erlenmeyer flask. And that weighs 70.83 grams. Now earlier we weighed the weigh boat and the weigh boat with salt. The weigh boat was 2.23 grams. That goes under B for mass on number three. And the mass of the weigh boat when I had sodium chloride in it was 7.33 grams. So now you need to calculate the mass of just the sodium chloride and show me how you calculate that. Now I'm going to be using a centimeter ruler to do the next set of measurements. And notice it's marked to the tenths, it's marked to the millimeters. So I'm going to record all of these measurements to the hundredth place by estimating between the marks that are there. The first thing I'm measuring is a beaker. And it helps to put the zero at the bottom. And so I get right about 9.15 centimeters. I'm also going to measure the length of a test tube. And I will show you pictures of these so you can see better. And the test tube is 12.25 centimeters. And I'm going to measure this line on the piece of paper. And I get 5.15 centimeters.